Richard Wright was a novelist and short story writer who was among the first American black writers to protest white treatment of blacks, notably in his novel Native Son, 1940. Wright's grandparents had been slaves. His father left home when he was five, and the boy who grew up in poverty was often shifted from one relative to another. He worked at a number of jobs before joining the Northward Migration, first to Memphis, Tennessee, and then to Chicago. There, after working in unskilled jobs, he was given an opportunity to write through the Federal Writers Project. In 1932, he became a member of the Communist Party and was executive secretary of the local John Reed Club of leftist writers and artists of Chicago. In 1937, he went to New York City, where he became Harlem editor of the Communist Daily Worker and later vice president of the League for American Writers. Wright first came to the general public's attention with a volume of novellas, Uncle Tom's Children, 1938. His fictional scene shifted to Chicago in Native Son. It presents the story of Bigger Thomas, who accidentally killing of a white girl makes clear and an immediate his hitherto vague awareness of an antagonism from a white world. Early versions of Wright's best novella, The Man Who Lived Underground, collected in its final version in a posthumously volume of stories, Eight Men, 1961, appeared in 1942 and 1944. The absurd, isolated, subterranean life of its black hero foreshadows the existentialism that guided Wright's later works. In 1944, Wright left the Communist Party because of political and personal differences. The autobiographical Black Boy, a moving account of his childhood and young manhood, appeared in 1945. Soon thereafter, he settled in Paris as a permanent expatriate. The Outsider, 1953, acclaimed as the first American existential novel, warned that blacks had awakened in a disintegrating society not ready to include them. Three later novels were not well received. <clears throat> Among his polemic writings of that period was White Man, Listen, 1957, which was originally a series of lectures given in Europe. The autobiographical American Hunger was published posthumously in 1977.